The INFJ, a type so rare, they have one of the largest MBTI subreddits. Ain't that a head scratcher. I'm Trevor Lay and I'm on a mission to make fun of each of the 16 personality types. This type was suggested by Caterpillar. I couldn't find the whatever type, so I decided to do INFJ instead. Thanks for the suggestion and leave yours in the comment section down below. Number one, they're like sages. INFJs are probably the best example of an introvert leader, calm and stoic, with a passion to help and lead. But like extrovert leaders who like to lead large groups of people, INFJs prefer to mentor one or two people, then diagram scram barely after the journey begins. Like all good mentors do. What, they're introverts, they need some alone time. INFJs put a high value on self-improvement, and they always want to be the best versions of themselves they can be. They know if they keep on trying, they can do the impossible. That's right, one day they'll solve that blasted Rubik's Cube without using a crayon to change the color of those stubborn pieces. They want to help others be the best versions of themselves too, and they won't always do it in a direct way. While other feelers might take jobs in the humanities to help people directly, an INFJ might become an engineer so they can help others by making self-cleaning toasters. INFJs understand there's a lot of ways to help. Number two, they have a camo shell. INFJs can appear very reserved and quiet, but in reality, they can be really big goofballs when they're alone or with really close friends. INFJs are really good at reading people, too. It fits well with the whole wise sage thing they got going on. You might think an INFJ is a mind reader, or maybe even psychic, but before you blackmail them for the winning lottery numbers, INFJs are really just in touch with the feelings of others. It's not like they're Nostradamus, right? Uh, in many ways, INFJs are like chameleons. They analyze the situation and become whatever they need to, just like a ditto. And also, just like a ditto, they're quite soft and squishy. I mean, sensitive. INFJs can often feel like people don't understand them, or that people only like the persona they create, or the stuff that they do. INFJs want to feel needed, not used. Number three, they have a secret strength. INFJs can seem soft and very charming. They know how to be likable. INFJs seek harmony and hate conflict. So instead of jumping on Bowser's head three times, they'll probably invite him over to a tea party and then poison the tea. The INFJ is a prime example of looks can be deceiving. They seek harmony, but they can dish it out too. The strong empath powers can be easily turned on their enemies. Just stay on their good side, because otherwise they'll be like Yoda at the end of Revenge of the Sith. This video was made possible because of my Twitter account. Okay, that's a lie. This account didn't do jack squat. But still, please follow me over there. You get memes, funny statuses, me complaining. It's great. Number four, they're manipulative. Look, INFJs don't mess around. Their high emotional intelligence, coupled with their Team Rocket level disguise skills, makes people easily trust them. Once they know what makes you tick, they can easily manipulate you. Because their means of influence is so subtle, people are likely to not even see it. Heck, you'll probably think it was your idea in the first place. This makes their influence much longer lasting than if they just used a gun. With great power comes great responsibility. And I think that line really fits the INFJ well. Number five, they're logical. With TI being their third function in their cognitive stack, INFJs take comfort in logic. They like to create logical frameworks for life where everything fits in. They're great at picking up and observing patterns in others, especially other people. Of all the feeling types, INFJs are probably the most logical, and they can really balance facts and feelings well. While INFJs are great at reading others, surprisingly, INFJs are oftentimes not always the best at reading themselves. Maybe you want to learn about another FJ type. Check out my video on the ISFJ, or my playlist of all the other MBTI types I've covered. Anyway guys, I'll catch you guys all next time.